we all are Satoshi. Today in crypto, Bitcoin has smashed past $12,000, meaning that we are well on track for our $13,800 price target we've been looking at here for over a week. I also take a look at Litecoin and Waves and why they have been pumping, and if there is a lesson to be learned that we can apply for other cryptocurrencies, and I share some news that confirms my thoughts that we are in the first stages of this massive bull run, and that if you play your cards right, you will make wild returns on your investments. My name is Lark, and this is where you subscribe for all of the hottest and all of the latest happening out here in the wild, wild land of crypto. So let's check in with the big guy first. Bitcoin is now just casually chilling over $12,000. It ain't no big thing, just, just chilling there. After, of course, breaking out from above that ascending triangle we've been watching for a little while now, this was a textbook bullish continuation move for Bitcoin. What a beautiful green candle. What a nice breakout we had. Now, a quick touch back to flip resistance into support around $12,000. That would not be crazy, that would not surprise me, nor would that be bearish, that would actually be a bullish retest. But as I have been saying for a week now, a bullish break of this triangle sets us on the road to $13,800. Part of me kind of expects a failed test at that level, maybe a bit more range and consolidation before breaking above that area. But considering how bullish everything is looking for Bitcoin right now and Bitcoin's kind of habit of just mercilessly crushing zones of resistance, I would not be shocked to see us blasting past 13,800 with ease. But wow, just what an exciting year for crypto so far. What a wild ride it has been. Bitcoin currently is up like 70% or so since the start of the year. Ethereum is up like 230% since the start of the year. And dozens of altcoins have pulled like 100x plus moves. And there's just tons and tons and tons of 10x and 20x and 30x. It's been totally wild. Now let's look at a few altcoins here. Litecoin is finally breaking out of its more than two year downtrend. It sure has taken old Litecoin a long time to start moving up when the rest of the market's been going crazy for such a long time, but there is a fundamental backing for the Litecoin breakout that could have something to do with this move. We do, of course, have the upcoming Mimblewimble upgrade, but more likely, I think this is directly correlated with this big news that Grayscale's Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin trusts have now begun publicly trading, which means that it will now be easier for institutional and retail investors to add Litecoin into their portfolio, just like they're adding Bitcoin via Grayscale. So just like buying a stock for these people. By the way, Wrecked Capital absolutely nailed this one in the Wealth Mastery newsletter last week. So very, very cool to see that playing out. Now, Litecoin is just starting its breakout, meaning that there's, of course, a lot of potential upward price appreciation moving forward. Although I do personally kind of have a feeling that even though Litecoin will gain a lot in this coming bull run, that it's going to finish this bull run not in the top 10 anymore. There's just so many highly competitive, well-funded cryptocurrencies moving up the ranks that are perhaps more deserving of that top 10 spot. But definitely another awesome call. And another really great one that we'll look at was also mentioned in Wealth Mastery last week was Waves. Now, this has been on an absolute tear. Waves has made a strong breakout from its year-long accumulation period with previous highs still very far above. Now, this is a great example of technicals matching fundamentals. And unlike Litecoin, Waves has actually been super busy during the bear market building all kinds of really neat stuff. Waves has just announced their decentralized Forex Play, which is an app that allows you to make deposits and exchange and also do collateralized lending of all of the world's major currencies, which is a very, very big innovation for crypto. They're also going to be offering staking. They're also working hard on making cross-chain decentralized finance a reality with their Gravity Protocol. And they're also launching an enterprise blockchain. Actually, they launched, I should say, an enterprise blockchain during the bear market. So pretty gosh darn busy. It's amazing what can be done when an ICO actually spends 
their money that they raised during the ICO on developing their cryptocurrency instead of just wasting it all on strippers and blow. Look, now I share these two examples not to say run out and trade these cryptocurrencies, but instead to underline there's just so many great crypto plays right now and a lot of cryptocurrencies that are still so far away from their all-time highs. Many of these are now, just now, breaking out of multi-year downtrends and they are essentially entering into new uptrends which could carry them to all-time highs and beyond. So get out there, do your homework, because we are in a time of massive opportunity in the market, and you have to be taking advantage of it while it lasts. A big thank you to BlockFi for sponsoring today's episode. So if you want to start making a passive income on your cryptocurrency, then you need to check out BlockFi. It is my preferred lending service. You can earn 6% a year by lending out your Bitcoin, 4.5% on your Ethereum, 5% on Litecoin, and 8.6% on dollar stablecoins like USDC and Paxos. With BlockFi's FlexiPay, you can actually deposit dollars and get paid out in Bitcoin or any other supported currency. BlockFi has also just started recurring trades that has now been enabled and you can actually dollar cost average into positions using your BlockFi account, which is pretty awesome. So don't let your crypto be lazy. Put it to work and start earning a passive income today. You can sign up using the link down below in the description. Okay, so I want to talk a little more about this bull market that we are stepping into right now. Now, I know some of people may who have uh, survived the bear market, you might still be suffering from that post-traumatic stress syndrome. You might have a hard time accepting that this is the real deal You're in that disbelief stage, right? Because look, this isn't the first time since the 2017 sell-off that Bitcoin has seen a significant rally. We also saw a very sharp move up to actually the highs of almost 14,000, around 13,800, which obviously is our current price target for Bitcoin that happened back in mid-2019, only to watch our dreams just get crushed. Crushed. But there are some simple factors pointing towards this bull run being the real deal, which I fully believe that it is. We've covered so many indicators, so many factors, but I honestly think that at the time of maximum financial opportunity, it was back in March, but there's still great financial opportunity now. Now, if we had a bull market complete progress bar, we would be at like 3% on that bar right now. We have 12 to 18 months to make life changing returns in this market. And hey, look, maybe the Bitcoin four-year cycle model that we kind of based this whole idea off, it's going to be broken this cycle. It's going, to, it's going to keep going to the moon forever, but not likely. It'll probably play out in some kind of a similar fashion as to before with a big blow-off top followed by some kind of brutal correction. Now, it may not be as dramatic of a correction as we saw last time, but we need to now be focused on making hay while the sun shines because those rainy days will come again. But that's a long way off and you have a lot of time to repair and take advantage. Because even if we're only at our 3% on the bull market progress bar, that time is actually gonna go a lot faster than you realize. But here are a few signs that I see as an absolute confirmation of the beginning of this just insane bull run that we're on. So the Bitcoin hash rate has just hit a new all time high for the seven day moving average meaning that miners are continuing to pile into mining Bitcoin, which means that money and investment is coming in. It's great that Bitcoin is now more secure than ever, but I follow the money and the investment in the network. It's greater than it has ever been before. The race to mine the last few million Bitcoin, it is going to be an intense one. And if companies are spending that much money to try to mine the last bit of Bitcoin, then what excuse do you have for not just going to an exchange and buying it? Because I will tell you who is buying it when you're not. Massive institutional players. You have Grayscale. They just had a record volume surge after their national TV campaign. Now, that would, of course, brought in a lot of new retail buyers for Grayscale's products. But it also underlines the popularity of this 
investing behemoth whose clientele is 80% institutional and which famously is buying more Bitcoin than is being mined most weeks. And of course, you have the micro strategy story, buying 0.1% of the total supply. We've talked about that a lot. And well, that was a very, very big story. We also see a lot of other funds uh, like Pantera Capital, for example, they're a crypto investment firm that has $600 million in crypto under management. They have raised $164 million so far this year. So there is a big appetite from the institutional investor crowd for crypto. And that's not a Bitcoin exclusive fund either. Pantera is also into a variety of altcoin plays, which underlines, of course, the altcoin thesis and the outperformance of altcoins during the bull market. But it is cool to think about just the fairness, I think, of the market right now. You, me, 7 billion other people, along with hedge funds, family offices, private funds, billionaires, companies, nation states, we all have equal access to be able to go to an exchange right now and to buy Bitcoin. Our big advantage is being here before the herd shows up. And the herd is coming, let it be clear. Day by day, institutions are starting to warm up to Bitcoin. Mainstream retail investors are getting more and more exposure via the antics of people like Dave Portnoy, but also stuff like the Grayscale TV ad. And I want to be clear, the herd is not here yet, but the water hole is starting to get a little bit crowded. Now, this news story that I saw today was a real wake-up call to that reality. Binance is now surpassing traffic experience during the 2017 bull market. That is crazy, man. And look, that you have to keep in mind, Bitcoin is 40% below where it was when that happened. We are building a very strong launch pad right now for the moon mission. Add into this, of course, the dollar is under pressure thanks to the trade war and political uncertainty and rampant fiscal insanity from the Fed, all of which, of course, is just driving more interest and more investment from the big investor class into gold and, yes, also into Bitcoin. And when money flows to Bitcoin, it always trickles down to the rest of the crypto market. What's good for Bitcoin is going to be good for the rest of the crypto market. What's good for the rest of the crypto market is going to be good for Bitcoin. This is the perfect storm for the new bull run. If Bitcoin goes to $100,000, then its total market cap is going to be around $2 trillion approximately. But look, that's a, a little less than a 10x from the current price here. And I think that sometimes we, we lose sight of reality as cryptocurrency investors because in the, the real world, a 10x return in a couple of years, that's insane. That's crazy. That's why I always come back to this nice, simple thesis of stack sats and chill. You can just keep your life simple. You can just go out and buy Bitcoin. It's going to be great exposure, great long-term returns. That is why it remains the biggest allocation of my portfolio. But because we are cryptocurrency investors and live in an alternate reality of the traditional investing world, because we are so early in this new niche of technology, if Bitcoin is going to have a $2 trillion market cap in this bull cycle, then I suspect that altcoins will achieve at least the same size market cap, if not bigger meaning that old man Bitcoin is going to look pretty gosh darn boring with its little silly 10x gain in like 12 to 18 months. There have already been 100x altcoins this season. There will be more. Multiple coins have done 10x in like the last week. It's crazy. If you play your cards right, then you will be able to make a return between 10 and 100x on your investments during this bull market. Some of you might even outperform that and make a thousand X, which is insane, but it happens. It happened to people in 2017. It's going to happen to people again this time. But that does not mean to run out and go all in on random altcoins. But it does say to me that there is incredible opportunity to make gains. Now, I would like to say that my picks of Tellor and Reserve and Kava and Kyber and Trust Swap make me some kind of magical genius, an investing wizard. <laughs> but that's not true. The reality is that this is an uptrending market. It's actually not rocket science to make returns, but you have got to be a step above just a <laughs> monkey throwing darts. Now, <laughs> you can make money that way too, but you need to find the fundamentally strong cryptocurrencies. Those five names that I just gave, 
those have very, very strong fundamentals. Now, that does not guarantee that they were bound to go to the moon, but it does increase their chance of mooning. Now, some of those cryptocurrencies have actually already taken profits on. <gasps> I know, I know, it's crazy, right? But I honestly sleep so much better taking out 20 or 30 or even 40% of a position after it's made a 10 or 20x run. I make bank, I keep a moon bag. It's, it's a very nice feeling because as bullish as I am on the market right now, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know exactly where the top's going to be. I can only make guesses about where that's going to be. Anything can happen in this market. So if it moons, then I'm ready because I still have a nice big moon bag. I usually keep around 60% of the position as a moon bag. If it crashes, I'm all good because I already made some profits on it. Basically winning all around, which is how you should be treating your portfolios. Make sure you play this bull run smart, get rich for certain guys. Anyway, the main idea of this video, we're all going to get insanely wealthy in the next uh, year, unless, of course, we have like the apocalypse happen or something. So I hope your bags are packed. You've got your cryptos ready to go. Now, your question for today, and this is an important one. What is your plan for cashing out during the bull run? Do you have sell targets for the cryptos that you bought? Are you laddering out? Or if you don't have a plan to sell your cryptocurrencies, then perhaps you can leave some questions down below for me or anyone else in the community about what you need to know in regards to selling during the bull run. If there's enough questions, I might make a, another video on this topic because I think it's always very, very timely to think about these ideas of how to ensure you get rich. But remember, you haven't made shit if you never sell. Your 100x gains, they can very quickly turn into 90% losses. So keep that in mind when thinking about pulling the trigger. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you're having a freaking awesome day wherever you are and whatever you're doing out there in the crazy, crazy world beyond crypto. I know you're keeping it classy. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.